Are you struggling to create structured outputs reliably with OpenAI? You're in luck. Last month, OpenAI introduced function calls to tackle this exact issue. The function calls help developers to define a schema and return JSON in a more transparent and accessible way. I've been working on a lightweight library called OpenA Function Call that utilizes Pydantic and OpenAI function calls. The goal of this library is to minimize abstraction and allow developers to customize their solutions fully. These ideas have been implemented in many of the libraries you know and love, such as Langshain and Llama Index. However, the goal of this library is to have as little abstraction and be a testing ground for any useful abstractions. In this video, I will discuss the challenges we've faced with structured outputs in the past, explain how function calls solve the problem, and demonstrate how the OpenAI schema class can improve your developer experience. Additionally, I'll provide examples to showcase how we can prompt better using these schemas. Whether you're an experienced developer or just starting, this video will provide valuable insights into how OpenAI function calls can benefit your projects. Definitely stay tuned throughout the end of this video. If you guys haven't followed me, I highly recommend that you do so, so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. Lastly, make sure you guys subscribe, turn the notification, bell like this video and check out previous videos because there is a lot of content that you will definitely benefit from. So that thought, let's get right back into the video. Getting structured data such as JSON out of an LLM has been a struggle for many AI engineers since the beginning. Structured data is a make or break feature for many use cases. An open AI's function call mechanism is a differentiator that will likely lead more developers to stick with them in the future before function calls, not only did we have to beg and plead with our AI overlords to produce structured data, but once we got the raw string, we still had to hope that our regular expressions worked and that json.loads didn't break. We also had to hope that data wasn't missing, hallucinated, or incorrectly validated, all just in time for another version of GPT to come out and break everything by being more chatty. Let's try vanilla OpenAI function. Calls after function calls came out, we realized that we wouldn't have to write crazy prompts and regular expressions to parse our data. All we have to do is define JSON schema instead. Here lies the problem. I don't want to write JSON schema. It's tricky and complex schemas are annoying to write from scratch. If you have a user with a name and age, the schema is pretty simple. What if you wanted to do something more complicated? An example I worked on last week involved extracting multiple search queries from a customer request. The search query could have come from a couple of different sources such as videos, documents and transcripts. To improve performance, I also added more descriptions to help prompt the model. Writing such code becomes more chaotic as the amount of output we need to trust increases. Furthermore, once data is obtained, how can we ensure that it is validated? Simply passing around a Python dictionary and hoping that the data is correct is not a reliable approach. What if a new source was invented? So, how OpenAI schema powered by Pydantic? Instead of writing schemas as untyped dictionaries and outputting data as dictionaries, Pydantic allows you to define models in code and generate schemas from the model. Not only that, but it can also parse JSON back into the model, making it easy to access the object, its attributes, and even methods. Here, OpenAI schema extends Pydantic's base model and adds a few helper methods for OpenAI schema. What are the benefits of using Pydantic? instead of writing JSON schema as a plain dictionary in Python, Pydantic.base model, and more generally OpenAI schema, provide the ability to model data as Python objects. Pydantic has great tooling trusted by thousands of developers and excellent documentation. With their new upcoming roadmap, there's even more opportunity for improving your LLM stack without needing to write any custom code. How code becomes prompts by running schema dot open I schema, you can see exactly what the API will see. Notice how the doc strings, attributes, types, and field descriptions are now part of the schema. Prompts become better documentation for users and AI by collocating the code rather than decoupling the prompt, model, and deserialization. How can validate your outputs? When using schema, 
from response to extract data from the completion response, Pydantic validates the schema and returns Python objects instead of a dictionary. This makes it easy to write trustworthy code with type hints and validation errors. If you refer back to the multi-search example, you will see that all attributes, such as tasks and source, are of the correct type. Furthermore, if you use an IDE, it will even provide autocomplete suggestions, how complex schema can be visualized via Erdantic. Since Pydantic, JSON schema, supports complex nesting, and since OpenAI's schema extends Pydantic base model, we can use the entire ecosystem of tools such as Erdantic to visualize our models. This provides an excellent opportunity to receive feedback and further improve documentation. Let's wrap up. This video demonstrates how to use OpenAI function call to perform various tasks. It emphasizes the importance of defining clear and specific data structures using Pydantic and providing accurate and detailed documentation. Although language models can automate many tasks, they do not replace human expertise and judgment. Modeling data structures with Pydantic is an excellent way to initiate discussions on how to structure outputs and represent code, schema, and prompts together. Prompt engineering remains a crucial step in effectively using AI models to solve problems and answer questions, providing clear and specific data structures with accurate and detailed documentation is crucial for building successful applications. I will leave all these links in the description below so that you can easily access them. It's a great read and it'll give you a lot more understanding as to how they basically accomplish this. So with that thought, I genuinely hope you found it informative and valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content. Like this, don't forget to click the notification bell so you never miss an update from us. If you have any questions or thoughts, drop them in the comments below. I always love hearing from you until next time. Stay curious and keep learning.